Terence Malick's film Badlands is a film that's come to mean an awful lot to me over the years. Some people consider it overrated, and some people consider it to be one of the best movies ever made. I'd like to start with looking at a small moment in the film that is a line that could be considered a throwaway, but it's come to be one of the most important parts of the film to me. Well, I think we can get you something working cattle over at the pens. Yeah, what the hell? So where's the breeze? So that short line is just one of many in this tremendous work of art, Badlands. Now you might ask, why does that line mean so much to you, John? And it's took years for me for that line to mean something to me, but it's through personal experience. So this is going to be another quite personal review, but that line's come to mean so much because there was one time I was a boy, I was working on uh, reslating a roof out in the middle of nowhere in the countryside by this lock. And the weather was terrible. I mean, we had snow, we had wind, and I had a day and a half to get this job done. And it was horrible. I was cold, I was wet, I was sad. But then for five seconds, Enough time passed so that the clouds parted and the sunshine came through and a breeze blew across my face. I put down my tools, I stopped what I was doing and closed my eyes and just thought, I'm lucky to be here right now. This job might be difficult, I might be cold and wet and miserable, but I'm lucky to be here, I'm lucky to be existing. And that's what that line's come to represent to me. I think it's a great line and it could mean, of course, that he's just happy that there's a breeze so it'll keep the smell away from him because it's going to smell working with the cow. But it could also mean that, hey, everything's all right as long as there's a breeze. And I just think that's super cool and says so much at the beginning of the film about Kit's character. But Badlands is a film that's come to mean that to me, these small moments. There's another moment later on when Kit and Holly are on the run and they're dancing in the headlights of the car and they're listening to a Nat King Cole song and Kit said, hey, turn that up, it's Nat King Cole. Turns it up and they're dancing in the headlights. And Kit just says, if I could sing a song about the way I feel right now, it would be a hit. And that's so incredibly beautiful. And that's one of those moments. I think it's a moment that we all can understand because like Kit and Holly, we've all had those moments in life where we've wanted to hold on to that magic or that feeling that's so great for just a little bit longer. And I think that's what Badlands is about. It's about Kit and Holly trying to prolong this fantasy, magical world that they're both living in and they want it to last forever and they'll do anything to make that moment last forever. There's a great line in an interview with Martin Sheen and he's talking about the violence in the film. And he said that Terence Malick said to him, just imagine that gun is a magic wand. If anybody gets in your way, just poof, and they're gone. Nothing personal, but you're in my way, poof, you're gone. And Martin Sheen said that kind of freed him up to play the role in this different way. Kit never let on why I shot Cato. He said that just talking about it could bring us bad luck. He never told me about her. Now, Sheen also said that playing a villain like this, you have to be non judgmental to give any kind of reality to that character. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on you. Okay. Kit and Holly are based on two people who participated in a murder spree in the 50s in, in America. And that's very dark. But I think that was a jumping off point for Malik. I think he saw that in this story of these two runaway kids, there was also love and life as well as murder and darkness. And Badlands is a film about the light and the darkness, the love and the horror of human existence. It's a fantastic story. And I think that's how I've come to understand it. It's a film that's about those moments and if you just stop for two minutes and have a look, breathe in the air, you'll realize you're lucky to be alive. And I think anyone would do anything to prolong that feeling and hold on to it just a little bit longer. Kit and Holly obviously go to these horrific extremes and take away life. But while they're taking away life, they're also existing 100% in the world that they've created. Hey, why are you always walking ahead of me? Well, why are you always walking behind me? They're living in their fantasy world. 
And I think that means you can look at Badlands as a dark fairy tale. The music has always suggested this to me when I've watched it. The music is almost fairy tale like It creates this beautiful juxtaposition to the images. But when you put the music over these images of trash-filled alleyways, or the kids in the, in the treehouse in the woods, you know, just living this crazy life, it makes it wondrous and beautiful and dreamlike. And that's the world Holly and Kid are living in. They're living in a dream. And I think that's just incredible that Terence Malick made us feel passion for, the, for these two kids having this love affair, but they're actually murderous criminals. And that's incredible. So Badlands has come to be a movie about those moments for me. And it's a film I saw very early on in my life. I was very young and it was one of the first films that made me realize that film could be art. At that time I was a kid, I was watching films, action films really, stuff like Terminator or Robocop that were big at the time. Brilliant films with deep and meaningful themes, fantastic special effects, and then I watch this VHS of Badlands and it blows me away. I spoke to my father about it and my father said, oh John, well you know sometimes films can be art. And this is not to be pretentious by calling it art, but I think when you look at the film, the way that it's edited, the way that the music juxtaposes to the images, it can be considered art. Towards the end it becomes a film of vignettes. We get lots of fades to black and it's all about these moments in these kids' lives. Less of a narrative arc now, they're on the run, fade to black, next scene. They're on the run, fade to black, next scene. But in between these moments of being on the run, you get these magical moments. So I guess I could say, I don't want to analyze Badlands too much because I think it's cinematic magic. And I think there's only one Badlands and there's only one Terrence Malick. So I don't think I should analyze it too much. It's a film about feeling. You watch it and it gives you a certain feeling and you just go with it. Like any work of art that works, it's how you feel about it when you're looking at it. It's not so much about the process. And I think that's why Terence Malick doesn't like to get it, give interviews or talk too much about what the film process meant to him or what his ideas behind the film were because it opens up a whole new area for the audience to experience the film in any way they want to see it. So in other words, you take away from Badlands what you bring to it. And I think that's just magic. So I guess to sum up, I could say that Badlands is a film that means an awful lot to me because it was one of the first films I saw that made me realize film could be something else. But it's also a film that you can relate to because it's about those moments when you just close your eyes and feel the breeze and wish you could make those moments last longer. And that's what life's about. It's an incredibly beautiful film. And I think for the rest of Malik's career, he's made movies in a similar vein that are about those moments, about running your feet in the stream or touching the blades of grass or watching the birds migrate across the sky or watching the sunset. There are all these moments that make life worth living. And for me, that makes Badlands an epic film of absolute beautiful proportions. It's stunning and it means an awful lot to me. So, what do you think about Terence Malick and Badlands? Please let me know in the comments below. If you did like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for listening.